So we've just arrived in Salsjöbaden at the uh, Royal Swedish Yacht Club. To me, the Optimist is the best sailing boat you can start in as a young child. In Holland, uh, we have French fries, potato fries. They come, we, they're very popular in Holland, and they come in these little um, containers that are shaped like an optimist. So in Holland, we call the optimist patatbakjes. Myself, I have a, have a son who's eight years old, and uh, he's not that much into sailing just yet, but hopefully one day or in a few years' time. I've been to Stockholm a few times now, and every time I come back, it's just uh, really special. So I've sailed around uh, the Stockholm archipelago in uh, the archipelago raid. I can honestly say it's uh, one of my favorite places in the world uh, to sail. It's actually a real shame that these boats that were before part of the um, Olympic program in the Paralympics are no longer part of it. It makes it so diverse, people with disabilities can sail these boats, can sail this sport. En stor applåd för att en av världens bästa seglare, Caroline Brauer, kommer och hälsar på oss. Big welcome to Carolina, big welcome. Hi everyone, hi boys and girls. After the Olympic Games in, the two, in 2008, I started doing a lot more offshore sailing. There was a campaign only for girls, uh, a girls' boat in the Volvo Ocean Race, which I hope you all know is a race around the world. For me, this was uh, the start of my uh, ocean racing career. And the biggest difference there is when you're sailing and you're optimist by yourself, you have to do everything. When you switch onto a bigger boat, you are sailing in a team. The team is more important than the individual. So the next race was in 2017, 2018. I was asked to join a Dongfeng race team, but it was the first time in the history of the race that they introduced mixed teams. As Dongfeng race team, we ended up winning the Volvo Ocean Race. And if you would ask me now, what, why did we win? And why were we better than the other boats in the race? One thing was our preparation. And the second thing I would say is the teamwork and the team spirit. Like I said, I grew up sailing uh, boys and girls uh, together, but when I did the Olympics, I was the only girl in, in, a boys, uh, in a boys' fleet. And in the Volvo Ocean Race, we were the only girls' team in a boys' fleet. And uh, what I've always experienced is the boys are very gentlemen-like on shore, but when you're out on the water, they want to beat you. You have to have uh, the attitude out there. Everybody is the same on the water. You just want to be the best, whether you are a boy or a girl. The boys will probably say, ah, but you will never be as strong as I am, so you can never hike as hard as I can hike. But I was always trying to be the strongest and the fittest that my body will let me be. Doing that, I had the feeling that I could take on the world. To close off with the spirit of Mange, what, what have you learned in your mindset from Mange? It's thanks to Mange that I am here because he shaped me by being given the opportunity. He was the one, he was the ambassador for Team SCA. He was the one that said, the girls are going to sail around the world. So what I could say to you is um, work hard, train hard, but live your life to the fullest. And you have to wake up in the morning with a smile on your face and you have to go to bed at night with a big smile on your face. That's what I learned from my